Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share an outfit of the day with you guys. It's a simple pencil skirt with a pair of tights, um, but it is kind of my signature look. I absolutely love, love, love any opportunity to wear a pencil skirt and a great pair of heels. I just think it's so classic and classy and elegant and just kind of understated at the same time. Um, really, really pretty. So let me stand back there and I'll show you guys, then I'll come up and tell you what I have on. So I've got my Louis Vuitton bag, I've had that one forever, it's a black, um, the black epi leather, just a simple kind of everyday bag, well not everyday, but I like it for when I dress up because it's just smaller, I like huge bags for when it's everyday. Um, but anyway, let me take this off and then I'll show you what it's like without the coat. So here is... And this coat I've had forever. Um, it came from Foley's back when Houston had a Foley's. Macy's bought Foley's out, but that was, I don't know, probably eight, maybe seven or eight years ago uh, when we still had Foley's. But it's just a great kind of a boucle woven cape coat that I have had for years and will have for many more years. Um, it's great, it's lined, love it. Um, and then this ensemble, which my shoes are my newest ones, they're the Steve Madden ones. I think I bought them back in October. My husband bought them for me. Um, we passed by them and like absolutely had to have them. He's like, you have to have those shoes. And so we bought them and they were really, really cheap. They were literally, I think, $30. It was marked down and then marked down again. Um, so really, really nice shoes. I love them to death. They're beautiful. Um, and then my tights, which are kind of a diamond weave, but they're Calvin Klein tights. I've had them for over a year. I bought them last uh, winter and didn't wear them. They were in the package in my closet, oddly. So yes, they are from Dillard's. My skirt is from BB. Um, it's got, you know, just a flat front, two pockets. And then in the back, it has these kind of back pleats. I don't know if you can see that, but it does have kind of some pleating down here. Um, and then my blouse, which is Forever 21. It's just a sheer navy blue blouse, and I have a navy blue camisole on underneath uh, because I just, yeah, I don't feel appropriate with just a bra. So that's what I have on underneath. Uh, on my nails, I've got the Chanel Particular. I don't have any jewelry on yet, um, my rings and my watch or anything. Just some earrings that my husband bought me a long time ago. They are to Corey. They were like a birthday present um, several years ago. Cracks, stop it, honey, please. <laughs> okay, um, on my face, I have on Max Studio Fluid, Studio Fix Fluid something, yeah. Studio Fix Fluid Makeup um, in NC15, the Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15, and stop, buddy. It's whining. Um, on my cheeks, I've got Max Gentle Blush. It's mineralized skin finish. My lips, I've got the Yves Saint Laurent in number 17. This is the um, Encore Rose, I think. Really pretty, it's a lip stain, the glossy lip stain. And then on my eyes, I've got Max Texture, which you can never see my eyes. Max Texture, Wedge, um, Crystal Avalanche up here, and then Sable in the outer corner. And that is what I have on my face. <sighs> kind of got long-winded there. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me show you what our Christmas card looks like. What, what happened to my Christmas card? Hello. 
Oh, here it is. Okay, this is our Christmas card this year. I'm just going to kind of cover our names down here. Um, but it's so cute. It's just pictures of my two kids and our dog. So there's John Abel and my Eva and then Cracker Jack, which that's his first year uh, with an appearance on our Christmas card because this is the first year we've had him and he's been a joy. Um, yeah, it's been fun having a dog again. Although I have to tell you, if we didn't have children, uh, my husband and I probably would not have a dog. And there's been several times where my husband's like, we're going to take him back. He's going back to the animal shelter because we get frustrated um, with him and his pooping inside my house it's not something we can tolerate and it gets on my absolute oh my gosh it's so gross it's gross and I know you know you have a dog they're gonna have accidents especially now he's still training he's a lot bigger but oh, there have been times my husband's just like we just clean the floors and he'll go to the bathroom but I do have to tell you that nine times out of ten you know more than anything it's our own ignorance um, that prompt the accidents. So in other words, you know, we'll be watching TV in the middle of a movie and he'll whine a little bit and my husband are like, oh, go be quiet, you know, like go, go to your bed, go eat your food or something. And then when the movie's over, we'll get up and there will be, you know, poop on the floor or something. And that was purely our fault because he whined, he told us, basically I need to go outside and we were too lazy to get up or we were ignoring him, so yeah. Those have been, you know, our fault, purely our fault. So it's really nothing we can get mad at him about. Um, it's just, you know, repeating the training and all that stuff. But the most difficult thing, I think, aside from the training, has been teaching my children how to care for an animal. Um, they've taken to it relatively nicely. Um, they feed him, you know, they want him to have food and water all the times, and, you know, they want to walk him and all those things. Um, but it's just being gentle. They're very rough with him. They want to pick him up by the neck, you know, and rough house with him. And it's fine to rough house with him, but at the same time, you know, he's an animal. We don't want to hurt him, you know, and, and I just feel so bad for him sometimes because he'll run to his cage, like, to get away from them. And then, like, my son will climb in the cage with him, and I'm just like, that's his space. You have to respect that. Um, so it's teaching them to be gentle with an, a living, you know, breathing item aside from themselves, um, which they're not gentle with each other. How can we expect them to be gentle with anything else? So it's just been crazy. But anyhow, I thought I would wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, show you our Christmas card. Um, I hope everybody is faring well. And yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.